everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. If you have a scuba diving question, pop it down in the comments section under this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured in an upcoming Q&A. Today I'm answering a question from Sage Stewart about the best scuba diving accessories. Sage Stewart says, what are some of the best accessories for scuba diving, like heated insoles for dry suit diving? So the best dive accessories for scuba diving are going to be things like dry bags. They're really useful. A nice rash vest is really good as well, especially if you dive in nice hot climates. Ponchos are growing in popularity today to wear between dives to keep yourself warm and dry between dives. As far as heated insoles, I don't think I've ever actually seen heated insoles, but I'm quite interested to get on board with that. Um, but you can get a hold of dry gloves with heating elements down each finger for cold water diving. But of course, you do need to be aware of the effects of heating and like decompression when you're underwater. But yeah, dry bags, dry bags, incredibly useful uh, when you're out of the water, less useful in the water because it's just a, a buoy. Um, and I, I usually have like extra bolt snaps because they're, they're always a useful little thing. Uh, it, it depends how far you want to go down the accessory route because does like a, a finger spool and DSMB become an accessory? Um, otherwise, it's like kind of boring sounding things like coat hangers. Um, a really nice, proper, wide shouldered coat hanger for your wetsuit or your dry suit to hang it up properly. Dry suits with boots, they have dedicated hangers, which are like, almost like a, a capital E, but on the side so that you can slot your boots through that and it hangs it upside down so it can dry from the uh, from the bottom down towards the opening. Uh, some of them nowadays, if you look at hang air, they have a motor and a propeller in the coat hanger itself so it can blow fresh air inside of the suit and, and really dry it out and make sure it's nice and fresh. Um, otherwise, I mean, in the water, there, there's cool little things like, um, I can't remember the name of it, but there's like a, a rolling slate. You remember in, uh, in school, or maybe I'm showing my age now, uh, where you had that, oh, it was like, I can't even remember. It was like a sheet of plastic on a roll and it would go over an OHT projector. The, the teacher would write on that and it would project it onto the board and then you just like wind it. You can get the same thing for your wrists. I know I'm really showing my age with that nowadays. Kids now it's all like digital clever laptops and stuff. But um, I do remember chalkboards as well. Uh, but that's quite useful. And you had a lot of space on that and you could get special ones that had like certain dive sites mapped out on it, different like fish species and things. And then you could wind it down and then you could write to your buddy, you could wind it on and then wind back to it as well. So that was quite clever. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's, there's lots of like gadgety things like retractors and things, but I like to keep it quite simple. Um, thigh pockets, a, a nice set of like thigh pockets are usually quite high on my list of what to pack in my bag. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I like to keep it quite Spartan. So I'm not just a Christmas tree diver, just laden down with all the equipment. Um, but yeah, they're, they're usually on like, my Christmas list. Dry bags, decent bolt snaps and um, yeah, a poncho if you don't have one yet.